here it is, my favorite spooky story. One morning, a young mouse was working in the garden. He was digging deeper and deeper into the soft, moist soil, when suddenly he came across something big and pink lying in the dirt. At first, he thought it was a turnip, but when he looked closely, he discovered it was a giant toe. The mouse tried to pick it up, but it was stuck to something, so he tugged, and he yanked on the toe until it came off with a jerk. The little mouse ran into the house to show his mother what he'd found. Oh, this toe looks plump and juicy, she said. I'll make a soup with it for supper. Ugh, I wonder what they'll have for dessert. Mm. That night, the mouse family ate every scrap of the toe. After they did the dishes, everyone was feeling tired, so they went to bed early. They didn't even brush their teeth. That's how tired they were. The little mouse fell asleep almost at once, but late that night he was awakened by a strange voice in the darkness. There's my toe! It moaned like a mother in a bad mood. The little mouse was shaking with fear. He was sorry he'd eaten that toe, even though it had been very tasty. But now it was too late to be sorry. Thump, thump, thump. Closer and closer it came. The little mouse was shaking with fear as he listened to the heavy footsteps coming towards him. And then... Yeah, yeah, and then what? Go on, finish! Ha, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he do? Hmm, oh, I know. The little mouse ran away like this. Gee, and he ran away. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That's not the way it's supposed to end. He's supposed to catch the measly mouse. Whew, that was close. Whew, it's pitiful, just pitiful. There's so many wackos on the loose around here. Well, you got to have eyes in the back of your head to to keep a lookout for those rascals. Just one careless moment, and, and your mouse meat. <laughs> so you thought you could trick me, huh? Well, you can't. Nobody can. <laughs> your little story about toe soup made me kind of hungry. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make mouse soup. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to be mouse soup. <laughs> there you go. Just stay right there. Wait, wait a second. Uh, what is it now? Uh, wouldn't you rather have some uh, tomato or potato or even rutabaga soup? Ick, Nicky and Spatui. I want mouse soup. Uh, excuse me, uh, mouse. Uh, would you mind taking off your clothes? Just the thought of eating those woolly things makes my... My tongue feel kind of funny. Wait, wait a second. You gotta have more ingredients. Don't you know this soup won't taste any good without some stories in it? Uh, stories? Uh, okay, Mouse. Uh, I admit that I don't know much about cooking, but stories? Ah, it's a kind of a secret recipe. I really shouldn't be telling it to you. Sorry I said anything about it. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Tell me. Uh, I'll keep a secret. Weasel's honor. Well, I don't know. Oh, come on. You can trust me. Please. Well, okay, but you got to promise to do everything I say. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, 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 I solemnly promise. Well, if you want mouse soup that's fabulous yeah. and delicious. Yeah? Beyond taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta mix stories into it. Oh, boy! <laughs> Ooh, but I don't have no stories. Well, I do. And I can tell them right now. Ooh! Uh, okay, but hurry up about it, because I'm very hungry. Okay, here's your first story to put in a soup. A mouse was walking through the woods one day. He was happy from his nose to his toes. He sang a song both light and gay, and his heart kept to beat like bongos. Yeah! And a list of bees fell from the tree and landed on his head with a prop. 
This mouse once happy was not very pleased. His temper flamed hot fiery red. Oh, dang, bang, flippering. Oh, it burrowed up the dang, bang, flippering. A skittery, bittery, boo. The mouse was mad at those bees in his head, but he tried to relax and be nice. And even though he wished they were dead, they just gave them some useful advice. Please, please listen. You've got to fly away. Oh, please, please listen. You'll be sorry if you stay. Of course, we like your He came to a swamp with mud that was gooey and thick. The mouse, he thought, what a nice place to romp and see if the mud does a trick. Oh, please, please listen. I'm going in my home. This house is not like yours, so you are free to roam. But mouse, we like your ears, and we like your nose. We're sure we like your home, so we don't want to go. Very well, welcome, and here's my front door. Oh yes, it's lovely, please show us more. Now here's my front room, I hope you like the view. Oh yes, how beautiful, it's like a dream come true. Now here's my bedroom, isn't it divine? Oh yes, enchanting, we think it's mighty fine. Now please, here's my bed. Please come join me and help me count those sheep. Uh -huh. Oh no, mouse never. We don't like your bed. Oh no, mouse never. We don't like your bed. Oh no, mouse never. We don't like your bed. Oh no, mouse never. We think you want a bed. Do di di ding do. A king she win she woo. A do di di ding do. A ding di ding di do. What do you lay lay lay? You little lay. And then the muddy little mouse went home and took a bath. Oh, what a dirty story. <laughs> I'm funny, aren't I? No. Why, wait a minute. What do you mean I'm not funny? I mean, no, no, you're not just funny. I mean, you're so funny that you're a nincompoop. Oh, <laughs> oh gee. So you think I'm a, a nincompoop. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, nincompoops are funny, aren't they? The epitome. Oh, boy. <laughs> the, the epitome of funny. <laughs> so, uh, uh, let's hear the next story. I'm a hungry nincompoop. Okay, here's the second story to put in the soup. This is a story both sad and happy about two stones that sat on a hill, lying in the dirt, alive and alert, feeling summer sun and winter's chill, but being stones, they had no ability to dance and prance and show their agility. This side of the hill is nice. Oh, yeah, right, right. Very nice. Yeah, but I wonder what's on the other side of the hill. Oh, man, you asked me that same question a million times. Would you stop with Yeah, the... I'll ask it a zillion times more. I really want to know what's over there. Yeah, well, so do I. But we're stones, remember? Yeah, yeah. We can't just walk to the top of the hill and take a peek. I know, Jeez. I know, but we're just a couple of do-nothing stones stuck on this hillside forever. Oh. What I'd give for a pair of legs. Yeah, nice thought. Legs. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Too bad we don't have them. <laughs> Look at we ain't got nothing. <clears throat> we don't have legs. We don't oh, have... Oh, no, you're not going to sing that song again, are you? Yeah, I'm going to sing it right now. Like it or not. Oh, have my sin. Ah, come on, don't be a dirt brain. Huh? Help me out on it. Come on, you sing part of it and I'll sing part. We'll get together. <laughs> Okay, but uh, only once. Look, we'll kind of do a back and forth thing, okay? All right. No encores. You got it. We don't have slaves. We don't have toes. We ain't got no feelings. We ain't got no no encore, but heavy. Nothing. 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 Nothing.
cause we never guess No strange diseases We don't have tons We ain't got no brain Don't have that hips uh oh Now ain't that a shame Oh yes it is But where they go We don't have dimple too cute All those ugly things People call pimples. We don't have elbows. We don't have teeth. What you say? Ain't got no eyes. So we can't cry no tears. But we don't need clothes. Uh uh. We're always quite nude. <laughs> And no one ever thinks we're being rude. Look up in the sky! It looks like a bird! Uh, you're right, it is a bird. Oh, I hate when they fly over us like that. Ooh. Hey, hey, bird! Come here! Yeah, please! Come here, bird! Ooh, look, she's coming down. Yes, 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 what is what? Hey, bird, can you tell us what it's like on the other side of the hill? We just gotta know. Hey, look, buddy, I'm in a hurry. Can't you just, you know, wait till tomorrow or something? Oh, now, please! It won't take you long. Oh, boy, all right, all right. I'll be right back. I can't wait to hear what she has to say. I hope it's ugly over there. Then you can stop worrying about it and be happy on this side of the hill. I don't know what I hope it looks like. I just know I gotta find out what's over there. Ooh, look, she's coming back. All right, look. I flew up high over the hill, see? And I took a look, right? I saw towns, I saw castles, I saw mountains, and then I saw some valleys. It was a wonderful, wonderful sight. You saw all those things on the other side of the hill? Yes, I did. Oh, how sad. We can't see them. We never will. Hey, thanks, Boyd. Yeah, well, gotta go, gotta fly. Bye. The stone just sat on the side of the hill, so powerfully sad, so misty blue. They didn't sing or do anything, and soon a hundred years just flew. Sometimes knowing is a bitter pill, but then not knowing is harder still. Hey, Miles, come here. Yeah, yeah, over here. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, could you tell us what's on the other side of the hill? No, not this again. Yeah, this again. I want a second opinion. Yeah. Now, all you want me to do is tell you what I see on the other side of the hill, right? Yeah, that's it. Be right back. I don't know what you're trying to prove with all this. You're only gonna make yourself miserable, and me too. Mouse, Mouse, what did you see? Well, I saw earth and stones. I, I saw grass and flowers. It looks just like this side of the hill. Oh, thank you, Mouse. You're welcome. Bye. Well, did you hear that? Why, that boy lied to us. This side's just the same as the other. Yeah, but now I feel happy. We're not missing anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ooh. What if that boy wasn't lying? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, never mind. It's me with your name. Yeah, right. Forget it. Yeah. Yeah, we're happy. And the two stones try to be happy for a long time. <laughs> oh, those poor stones. No teeth, no tongue, no stomach, no taste buds. The tragedy of it all. Mouse, your story is making me hungry. Yeah, so sorry about that. Let me tell you another one right now, very quickly. Okay, but make it snappy because I'm very hungry. Okay, here's the third story to put in that soup. On a night dark as a ditch, a creaking cricket got the itch to sing a song just for pleasure, and he danced to every single measure. And got a boo-boo on my finger, did a cutting birthday cake. Doctor thinks he's kind of serious, says he's gonna amputate. There's no need to be so drastic, and don't be so bombastic. Life alone is so fantastic. Just relax and watch the show. Hey, 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 what is all this noise? What? What you say? I can't hear you and make my music at the same time. Look, I want to sleep, okay? I do not 
want any more music. What, you want more music? Oh, I'll find a friend. Hey, amigo. Oh, I love to eat palomi. I thought it was incredible. But then I saw them when they make it. Now I think it's inedible. Now? There's no need to be so drastic. And don't be so bombastic. Life alone is so fantastic. Just relax and watch the show. Hey, 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 you guys are not getting this at all. No, I don't want any more. Do you understand? No more. What do you say? You want more music? We'll find another friend. <laughs> there was once a great magician. He saw this helper right in two. But he forgot the end of that trick. Does anyone have any glue? There's no need to be so drastic. And so hey, 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 what is going on out here? Can't you hear? Are you deaf? I am tired and I cannot take much more. What you say? You want much more music? Woo, we will find many more friends. Oh, I tried to eat hot chili. But it made my tongue so sore. Ay, those spicy peppers flaming rrr, burn the hole into the floor. There's no need to be so drastic. And don't be so bombastic. Stop, stop, stop. Like the music is way too loud. What? Loud? See, we can sing loud. There's no need to be so drastic. you say so in the first place. Come on, vamos los amigos, let's go someplace else. <laughs> and then the mouse went back to bed, but she couldn't sleep. It was too quiet now. Gee, uh, why didn't she just eat the noisy little crickets? <laughs> she was a vegetarian. A vegetarian? What's that? It's someone who only eats vegetables. Ugh, how disgusting. But you always talk about food and eating. Oh, yes. Food is my favorite subject. It's all I ever think about. Food, 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 and food. Oh, did I mention food? Oh, yes. And when I look at you, all I see is a plump little, juicy little, tender little morsel. Forget about that. Listen. Here's the last story to put in a soup. There once was an old lady mouse who was making quite a loud fuss. Many tears she did cry till she dripped dry cause her friend was ill in her house. Wait a minute, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Oh, come in and I'll show you. Oh, look, there it is. Oh, there what is? My thorn bush. There. Oh, it's been growing in that chair. Gosh, how did it get there? Well, I don't know, actually. One day I sat down and something pinched me and I, and I got up and there it was. Oh, you poor lady. Here, let me pull that thorn bush out of the chair and throw it away. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. But don't you want to sit down again? No, no, I, I don't want to sit down. You see, I've been sitting down most of my life and... I love my little thorn bush. <laughs> I, I'm crying because it's sick. See? All its little bitty branches are wilted and droopy. Hmm. I, I think your thorn bush is thirsty. Say, why don't you give it a drink of water? <gasps> oh, I, I never thought of that. I, I think you might just be right. Oh. My little bitty witty witty thorn bush is thirsty.
like sunshine following rain with happy rhythms running round in my brain it feels so good just to be alive my heart is humming like a booming beehive feeling good feeling good oh yeah i want to climb a ladder higher than high and kiss the stars that blink way up in the sky and kiss those birds that love to chirp a song that's sweeter than maple syrup feeling good feeling good feeling good I'll drink up all the water in the seven seas spit it out and water all the flowers and trees wanna cut loose dance and prance around acting goofy like a clown do me do me do me do When dark clouds come, those bullies in the sky. I wanna punch them hard and make them all cry. And all their tears will fall like rain and wash your troubles right down the drain. Feeling good, feeling good, yeah, yeah, feeling good, wow, real good. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest little thing? Thank you, kind policeman. Why, you saved my little thorn bush. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Oh, <laughs> now you're really welcome. Say, I'll give you five minutes to stop that. And the old lady and the thorn bush were happy for a long time. There, now, I've told you all my stories. They'll make your mouth soup taste really good. All right. Uh, but how do I put the stories into the soup? It's easy. You just run outside and find a nest of bees. Uh -huh. Some mud, yeah. two large stones, mm. ten crickets, maybe eleven, mm. and a thorn bush. Come back and put them all into the soup. Ooh, but that's a lot of work. Uh, think I better get going? Yes. Okay, I'll be right back. Now you stay here. La, 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 la. Oh, a weasel as sneaky as sneaky can be. And as I'm a weasel, it's easy to see that no other creature can outweasel me. Cause a weaselly weasel am I, am I? Yes, I'm a weaselly weasel. <laughs> Uh, here's a bee's nest. Ooh, and there's the bees. Boy, I could feel that myself. Home, home in the mud, where seldom is heard a discouraging word. They don't have legs, they don't have toes, but they sure got weight. Yes, I know. Oh, now that hurt. It's supposed to hurt as part of the story. <laughs> Come here, crickets. Come here. Come here, crickets. Gotcha. Uh, guess I don't. I said come here, not go away. <laughs> Uh, a thorn bush. Want to come home and sit in my chair? <laughs> oh, you're worse than bees. Bees, thorns, and crickets. He's going to have a swell night. And now I can finish that story. Now my mouth soup will taste really good. <laughs> yep, I got everything I need. <gasps> Except for a mouse! <sighs> hmm, here it is. And then the little mouse looked up at the strange-looking creature next to his bed. What do you want? The creature groaned, Where's my toe? The little mouse was shaking with fear. He didn't know what to say. But then he just told the truth. We ate your toe for supper. I'm sorry. A strange-looking creature just stood there looking mad. After a while, he said, You ate my toe? You ate my toe? Well, that's totally disgusting. What a funny ending. 
<laughs> and the creature wasn't mad after all because he had a whole bag of toes. <laughs> oh, a weasel is sneaky, as sneaky can be. And as I'm a weasel, it's easy to see that no other creature can out-weasel me. Except for that doggone mouse! <laughs> 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 